guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuy.com. Today we're doing a tutorial on the fire effect in Sabalate Power Director 11 Ultimate. Let's get into it. Alright, so I know you guys like to play with fire. Your mama should have taught you better. I know you like to blaze, burn down, and blow up. You like the three Bs. You're into the BBB. Blaze, burn down, and blow up. So I'm going to help you out. I'm going to show you how to do it safely because I listen to my mama. And I don't play with fire, but I'm going to show you how to play with it in a video effect. Now, first and foremost, you're going to need some stock footage for this. So the way that I did it, I used stock footage from Digital Juice. Uh, you can get the stock footage of fire effects from uh, Digital Juice. You're going to have to pay money for that. Uh, Palm 5. Uh, Revo Sock, um, you can get it for free at detonationfilms.com. So, a lot of different places you can get it from. Okay, get out there, get to looking, find it your dang self. Okay, find your freaking fire. F F F B B B's, we got it all today. Find freaking fire, blaze, burn down, blow up. We got it all going on, but anyway, I might as well start and show you how to get this freaking effect done, right? All right. I'll do it for you because I like you so much. So first thing I need to do is I need to take my footage that I created and I need to put it down into the timeline. I can either left click it and drag it down into the timeline or I can right click on it. And then I can choose insert on selected track. And it'll go ahead and put it where my playhead was on track numero uno. Now I need to get the playhead to a position where I want to show the fire coming onto the screen. So I'm going to go to one of the locations on here that I'm going to show some fire. We're going to start it off here. I'm going to split my clip here. I'm going to get rid of the front end because I don't need it. So I'm going to right click on this clip and I'm going to click on remove and I'm going to go to Remove and move clips on same timeline so that the clip goes back to the position at the front end. So now I'm going to move my playhead to a position where I see the punch happening. Now I'm going to step backwards by clicking on this arrow for the previous frame so I can get it right to where the individuals, or me if you want to say that, hand actually hits the screen. Or get to the position. I think that's pretty good right there where I had it initially. Now this is a magic effect from Digital Juice Compositors Toolkit that I'm going to use. I'm going to right click on this clip. Matter of fact, let's go back here because I want to make sure it goes into the right place. I'm going to activate Track 2 by left clicking on it and you'll see the color changes to a little lighter gray. Now I'm going to go up to the clip and I'm going to right click on it I'm going to insert it on selected track what that does is it puts it right where the playhead is where I stopped where I had the position where I want it now you can see that nothing but black on here because these are actually clips that we're going to need to uh, luma key or chroma key out the black so that we just have the fire if I were to play this right now because I haven't done any adjustment to it, you just see the fire go across the screen and it's black. Doesn't look how I want it to look. Also, the fire is going kind of slow. I need this fire to be sped up a little bit. So I'm gonna do a few things. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on I'm gonna click on the clip. I'm not gonna right click on it. I'm just gonna click on it and I'm gonna go to power tools. I'm going to speed this bad boy up, so I'm going to click on video speed. Now, depending on the clip that you have, you may not need to change the speed. I do. Okay, so I'm going to. I'm going to go up to six times the regular speed. I'm going to close this out now. Next thing I need to do is I need to actually get the black off of there. Now, right now... You still see the black. I need to get that out of there. 
So now I'm going to click on modify. When I click on modify, the first option is the chroma key and it's going to close these up so you can see what it would look like if you hadn't used it. So I'm going to go to chroma key. I'm going to click on enable chroma key and it automatically knows that it's black in there which is good for me. And now you'll see when I hit play, you'll see the fire shoots across the screen. Pretty good. So I'm going to close this out. Next thing I'm going to do is I need to actually get the fire onto the front of the fist. So I'm just going to put my cursor down here on the corner and I'm going to drag this up, keeping the aspect ratio the same. And I'm going to step forward until I can actually see the flame start coming out and I see it coming out there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the flame to the front of the fist. Just click and drag this and move it over there. So far, so good. I'm going to step back to where I was before. Beginning of the clip. All right. Next thing I need to do is I need to keyframe the movement because unfortunately I'm not a robot and I can't stay in one place. So I'm going to move around after I throw this punch. So I need to make sure that the fire stays on the front of my fist the whole time. So if I scroll down here on the left, you'll see all the different keyframe options and one of them is for motion. So I'm going to activate this by clicking on this little diamond. Now what I need to do is I need to step through, go to the next frame, and make adjustments as I need and move the fire to the front of the fist. So I'll step through to the next one. I need to move it down some. And make sure that there's no space between your fist and the fire or else it will not look real. Everyone will be able to see a little bit of space between the two. You can see as I'm going along moving the fire onto the front of the fist, stepping each frame over, making sure everything stays aligned properly. And if you're lucky, you might get some spots where you don't need to move your fist at all, which is always, or move the fire at all, like I have a few frames here that are pretty well lined up. And you just keep on stepping through and doing all your key frames and I'll come back to you once I am done. All right, now that I'm done with all of my keyframes, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the save button. And now if I click on movie, let's move this back a little bit. And we go ahead and preview it by clicking the play button. You get the look of the fire coming through. Now, of course, this is, you know, going to look a little choppy right now because it hasn't rendered. But as long as you went ahead and made sure everything is on there, when you look at your preview, you see that there's no space between the fire and the fist. You know it's going to look lovely. Lovely. And that's it. How to do the fire effect. Now you would do it exactly the same with all the different types of fire that I use. You're just going to go ahead and just make it fit your scenario. Changing of the speed is really up to you. Depends on the stock footage that you got. You may not need to use that. But you will have to use the chroma key and you will have to use the motion to make sure that you keyframe it out to make sure that the fire stays in the right perspective. I know you liked what you just saw. I know it. So, you know what you got to do. You got to hit the thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it. Like it. Live it. Love it. Hug it. You know the routine. Comments. Love them. Comments are what drive me. So if you leave your comment, I will get back to you. 
if you need help, I will try to help you the best I can. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you deserve. Because you deserve help. You bought this software. If you can't do something, you deserve some damn help. All right? I don't care what anybody tells you. You are important. You're a special individual. And you deserve the help you get. Or need. Or whatever the freak. All right? And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you again soon